Dr. Shiva Reddy, Consultant Orthopedic and Joint Replacement Surgeon, working at Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. Now I am going to talk about avascular necrosis of the femoral head in post-COVID patients. So post-COVID has affected us in many ways. When it comes to orthopedics, it has affected the hip joints more. It usually affects the young patients around 30 to 50 years age group and it is commonly affected both the hip joints. Avascular necrosis of the femoral head is nothing but it's a damage to the blood circulation to the femoral head where the bone breaks down and leads to collapse of the bone and uh, damage to the joint affecting the movements of the joint and leading to arthritic changes of the joint. Avascular necrosis of the femoral head goes through multiple stages starting from stage 0 to stage 4. 0, 1, 2 are a mild presentation and 3 and 4 are advanced stages where the collapse of the bone happens. So when the patient present with the early stages, they have only symptoms of pain and difficulty to walk and a mild limping will be there. As the stage advances to 3 and 4, the significant limping happens, unable to climb stairs and get down or squat or sit cross leg. So leading to a severe dysfunction of the disease, avascular necrosis of the femoral head goes through different stages starting from 0 to 4. 0, 1, 2 are a very mild varieties and 3 and 4 are a significant changes happens where the collapse of the bone happens leading to a dysfunction of the joint. So 0 to 1, 2, they present with simple pain and unable to walk and difficult to climb stairs. And 3 and 4 where the collapse happens, the joint dysfunction leading to significant limping and unable to walk, unable to squat, unable to sit cross legs So the, when we detect in early stages by doing MRI scan or X-rays, so which help us to see the joint detection of avascular necrosis of the femoral head in early stages is very important. So that where the collapse has not happened, that is stage one and two. So in the early stages, treatment becomes very easy, where it's a medical management and a simple surgeries like core decompression and bone marrow aspirate concentrate injection is possible to to reduce the progression of the disease or to treat the disease itself. So unfortunately, sometimes in spite of the treatment options, it can lead to a progress to a stage three and four where the collapse happens. In that stage, only total hip replacement is only answer. So the present day, the latest technologies and the advancements in the bearing surfaces and the plant fixation in the bone has led to a good outcome for the total hip replacement, which can last nearly more than three decades. So the key factor here is to diagnose early and treat it early with the simple medicines and uh, simple surgeries. You can save the patient's hip for the rest of your patient's life.